Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a little bit of a kind of vloggy sort of one. I just wanted to film a bit of a like a plant chores kind of thing. There's a few things that I need to do uh, plant related so I thought I'd just show you you know kind of what I'm doing. So there's a few things that I want to chop up and propagate. I probably need to check on my propagations. There's a few plant nets that need watering and I think I'm going to put some poles on some of the plants like my micans definitely needs a pole and I've got a few yeah, plants that I needed like kind of give a trim chop them up and maybe do some propagations as well so yeah there's a few things that I need to do I might even I've also got some new pots which are quite cute I'll show you them I got this pot for two dollars from the uh, Salvation Army so I want to drill a hole in it and then it can be an actual pot and I also got and I also got this one for $3 from the Salvation Army, so I want to pop a hole into this one too. So these can be cute little planters. I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet, but I thought I might as well drill the hole and then they're ready to go. So yeah, I'll probably do that as well. So yeah, there's a few things that I need to do, so you guys can just come with me while I do some plant chores around the house. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I have all of these propagations here. I need to take them all out, redo the water, and just check their progress because I can't. I can see roots in some of them, and I can't tell what the roots belong to. And then yeah, figure out what I want to do with them. Okay, so this is a jar of a bunch of random cuttings. I can see some roots, so I'm going to take them out and just see what's going on in here. So I've got this stemmed layer cutting, it's got no root, so he's going back in. This Brazil cutting starting to root, so that's all good. What have we got here? So this is a verticolata cutting that is starting to root, so that's exciting. So he's not ready yet. And this is a red buttons cutting that's starting to root. Um, I might sell this cutting because I don't need it. And this is my another stand layer cutting that I took that I took off of my plant that has beautiful variegation. It was just growing really weird, so I wanted to root it and yeah, so he's nearly ready. So I think I'm gonna chuck them all back in water to continue rooting. So I'm just gonna refreshen this. Because I probably haven't changed the water for like a week or so. So I'm really happy about this. This was in fern fibre for months, did nothing, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try it in water. So there we go. Sometimes all you need is some water. So this is a pretty good route, but I think I'm gonna let it get a little bit longer before I plant that. Same with the vertical art, it needs a bit longer. So that is that jar done. Okay, this is the next jar. It's mainly just trying to scantier cuttings. So I'll take that out. And like chain apart cuttings. So it looks like some of these are starting to root if you can see that. Try to scan here, propagate so easily and so fast. So you can see that they've got pretty good roots. These are about maybe two weeks. Been rooting for two weeks. So these are all actually ready to pop in the back in the pot. So I might do that later on camera, so yeah, I'll just keep these aside for now until I decide to pot them. This is just a pot of not very variegated golden pothos, and um, none of these will be ready, nope. I'm just going to give it fresh water. This is actually cutting from my mum's plant and it had a really bad root rot so I've just cut it up and I'm going to root it for her and then I'll repot it once it's ready. This is a couple little bits and bobs. 
This is such a cute jar, by the way. I got it in a tr um, someone gave me a plant cutting in this. But it's so cute. I love it. I wish I knew where they got it from. So this is my Campos Botanum cutting. So it's got pretty good roots. I'm not sure. I might add it into my pot today. I'm not sure. I will think about it and see. These are not ready. It's starting to root though. That's all good. Okay. Next is this one. I don't even know what's in here, but a bunch of everything. This is a begonia angularis cutting, which is pretty, looks like it's pretty ready to pot. I'm just going to put it aside because I have another um, thing of just, just angularis, so I'll see how this do. These are Hoya fishtail cuttings. I'm going to let them root a bit longer. And this is a Hoya... Pussy flora cutting, I think, and it's got pretty good roots. But again, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer before I pop that because the bigger the better. This is a reverse variegated Peperomia scandens, and um, it's got roots now, so that's good. I might add this back into the pot, so I'll pop that aside. And this is a CB blue. And it's got pretty good roots, but I think I'm going to wait until the little one is ready to pot, so then I can just pot them both at the same time. But he has got pretty good roots, so that is good, because that was an unrooted cutting, like, a week or so ago. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, if you quite like these jars, by the way, I got these from Mitre 10, and same with these ones. These are also from Mitre 10, and they fit quite a lot in those ones, and I like these ones for, like, kind of skinny, skinnier um, cuttings. So this is a Hoya Diptera cutting that I want to add back into my pot, so he's not ready to go yet. I also took a cutting of my Syngonium Pink Splash, so I'm rooting that because I want to either sell it or do a trade and get a plant that I really want. This is a reverted Crimson Princess cutting. I've been trying to get rid of it, but nobody seems to want it. So I don't know what, what to do with that. And then I've got a bunch of Linearis cuttings. Some of them are kind of rooted and some aren't, so this one's kind of rooted. This is just a uh, capers one. I need to get the paper off, but I haven't. This is a Nicholsonia cutting. It is starting to root, but it's not ready yet. That was in I got in the trade. This is a Lestata cutting that is got some roots. Um, the actual leaves looking a bit sad now, but it's kind of to be expected. This is a, a long vine that had no leaves on it that I took off my Stendhalaiana and I thought I'd chop it. Um, it's actually starting to root and if you can see right here, it's got a leaf. The leaf's starting to come out so that's cool. This is another lizard leg cutting and it is rooted. I, I think I will add that back into my pot. This is a melano cutting. It is nearly ready, but not quite. I'm going to give it a bit longer. And these are my begonia. Uh, what are they called? I can't think what they're called. I'll put their name somewhere because I can't think what it's called. Begonia. And they are quite rooted, so I don't know if I want to leave it for longer or pot it. I'll have a think about that. I might, I might pot it. Not sure. So anyway, that is all of the cuttings that I just needed to check out. All the ones that I'm gonna put into 
pots today are in there. I think I'm gonna sell all of these ones because I don't I don't need them. Um, and then I'm just deciding I might actually I might pop the campus board in as well. So I'll add them to this cup. So yeah, that is one plant chore done. Okay, so now we're going to repot this lizard leg begonia. Well, we're going to add the cutting that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm just going to basically take the plant out of the pot or get as much soil out of the pot as I can. Add in the extra cutting uh, wherever he kind of fits. And then I'll put the soil back in. And then, yeah, that's pretty much him. will be him done. Okay, so this is my Philogenian Campus Sporton one. Um, so like I said before, I decided to add this cutting in. So I'm going to put it like about here. The point is that I kind of want the pot to be a little bit fuller and have less gaps. So same thing, I'm going to take the plant out of the soil, kind of, well, as much as I can. Add in the cutting and then replace the soil. And then, yeah, it should look a lot fuller at the end. Okay, once more, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing with this Tradescantia albiflora, adding those cuttings where there are some kind of like empty spots, and yeah, that should make a nice fuller plant. Okay, so this is my Hartley philodendron, so he's pretty long, but he's quite empty at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a little shot, probably about here, and then I'm going to propagate the rest of the cuttings, and then when they're ready, add them back up into the top of the pot so that the top is a lot fuller, because you can see there's quite a lot of bare spots there. So yeah, that's kind of my plan, so we'll see how that goes. I've been meaning to do it for ages. Okay, so here he is afterwards. I've given him in the chop, so he is quite a bit shorter. I'll pop him up here and then you'll be able to see. Yeah, so he is a lot shorter now. So yeah, these are the cuttings that I'm left with after that. So I will chop them up into single nodes and then pop them in water. I also just wanted to show you guys that my fungi is flowering so they're not open yet but it's super duper exciting so he hasn't flowered before he nearly did last year and then they just dropped off and I kind of eventuated into nothing so this is really really exciting so I can't wait for them to open and I'll show you once they do here we go guys they finally completely finished opening Aren't they stunning? So that is a Hoya fungi flower and I tell ya it smells beautiful as well. So there he is. It's beautiful flowers. But yeah, honestly they smell so nice too.
that's the end of that video hopefully you enjoyed it if there are any videos that you would like to see i would definitely love to hear your suggestions in the comments down below i'm having trouble thinking of like things to film at the moment so the only way i really know what you guys want to see is if you let me know so if there's anything you want to know about or learn about or anything you want to see or just even just general types of videos that you like like do you like hauls do you like collection videos do you like tours day in the life kind of videos what do you like just let me know i'd love to hear from you and yeah and i'll see you next time bye